You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I've made it to the Triassic Triops Hatch Your Own Ancient Creature set. We've had a variety of requests for this from a lot of different people, so if you requested it, you know, thank you very much. Well, I'll leave it in the comments, and I'll thank you there too, personally. So this is everything that's in the kit, and some background information on how to get everything going. Now, I had to read the directions clearly, uh, because there are a lot of steps. And uh, I don't think it's as easy as just add water. Just add water and place in light. There's a bunch of steps you need to follow. So we are going to go step by step and then keep updating as they grow. We're not going to do any kind of time lapse or anything like that. But let's uh, see what we get. So there's a hatching dish, a bag. This is our little kind of like a fish bowl almost. Let me cut this up here. I'm going to leave this in the background. Kind of help you see everything. See that? And then uh, let's get into the bag. So there is a temperature strip. There's looks like a feeding spoon or water uh, pipette or pipette, whatever you want to call it. Here's a magnifying glass and a ruler and then some kind of stones here limestone and then triops gravel the complete food and then the starter baby food and the instructions so the things you have to know here are the amazing facts about triops so i'm not going to read this to you i'll let you zoom in and read it and there's some helpful hints okay and then the blue thumb directions for hatching and raising triops. And you cannot just use any water. And you have to pre pre prepare everything. Um, it says rinse your hatching dish with natural spring water prior to use. Don't use any soap or tap water. So I have to go do that. I didn't do that. And then here's everything I need to get started with. So I'm going to go wash a few things with my water. Now I have... Ice Mountain. They give you a couple other brands. And this is 100% natural spring water. And they wanted you to make sure that there was nothing in the small print that said there was any kind of uh, filtering or distillation. Is that what they call it? Distillation. I don't know. Let me look. <laughs> it says, do not use the water if labeled as purified by distillation so we're not uh, so that was not on this bottle now I got two bottles here let me show you the other one Evian water natural spring water and it was nothing on this one about the bottle or the water going through any kind of process so you have to be careful with that make sure you get the right water and then uh, basically I'm gonna get started here rinse this out and I also needed uh, an eighth a teaspoon of crushed peeled carrot so we'll get that in there check back in just a second okay here we go let's get started uh, step one and if you've read all this information prior um, you kind of know what not to do and what to do so rinse your hatching dish with natural spring water prior to use we did that you don't use any soap or tap water correct uh, dry the dish with a paper towel that's a check place the dish in a bright light preferably in both artificial and natural light well I'll move it to that area when I'm ready it says fill the dish two-thirds full with bottled natural spring water. So let's do that. Okay, I'd say that's pretty close. Then it says uh, fill the dish, uh, add an eighth teaspoon of crushed peeled carrot. Now I have a dish off to the side here which I also washed in the natural spring water and dried with a paper towel. So let me just uh, put some on here. Seems to work better towards me, but that's okay. I'll just do this. Now, an eighth of a teaspoon is not a lot, so I think that's probably close. So now I'll crush it. I have a quarter teaspoon here, so I'll just have to rely on that to 
do half of that. I also rinse that in natural spring water. So everything I've used so far, I've been rinsing in natural spring water. Okay. So let's just take half of my little teaspoon here, or a quarter teaspoon. It's about half. Okay, so that's in there now. Then it says peel off backing off the thermometer. Now I noticed on the picture uh, in here, it shows the thermometer actually standing straight up, but this dish is not deep enough. Look. So I have to mount it that way, or you could just dip it in to, to get the temperature. So we'll see. Let me just stick it to my dish so I can always keep it maintained. So I'm just peeling this off, if I can. Easily. There we go. Started it. My hands are still a little wet from the carrot. Okay. Ooh, it's like a challenge. Look, I'm 84 degrees. Let me get this in here and stick it down by the water line. Okay, so I gotta let that sit now till I know for sure it's above 74 and below 85. So I need to check back in. I'm gonna let that sit for probably like three or four minutes and then I'll check back in when I see we're in the optimal range. All right, so I'm back. There's a lot going on here. My temperature right now is a pretty solid 82 and then a little below it and a little above it. So it's kind of in that range. And I achieved that by following the step five in the directions, placing the light, because I'm in a cold weather situation and placing the lamp four to 10 inches. I'll just show you that now. So here is my lamp. It's pretty high up there. And then the bulb I'm using, I uh, found at a garage sale for a buck a long time ago when I grabbed it. Looked like a neat bulb, sunshine in a box, because we want natural, as much natural light as possible. And then uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, you're probably all wondering what's going on here with these little characters. Well, they were in my lamp, like on the base. And they just seem to fit this set really well for some reason. I don't know why. I've got a next generation set here. It's Jordi LaForge, Captain Jean-Luc Picard, and Deanna Troy. Yes, I have to admit, I watch Star Trek Next Generation. So they're going to be with me through this process here. And they look like a, they look like they fit the size really well. So let's, uh, let's go here. So once the water temperature... Oh, there was the warning. Uh, we got the correct water. Water temperature is just right. And light is not adequate. Those are the warning signs. So we've got good uh, levels on all those things. So day one. Once the water temperature reaches 74 or more, pour into 15, 20 eggs. Tap the container label Triops Eggs on a flat surface two times. So let me get my eggs in here. And we'll just tap. And I still see one stuck up. So there we go. He was stuck to the top. Then it says, uh, let's see. Uh, two times so eggs trapped under the lid fall to the bottom. Open the container over a sheet of paper and pour some of the eggs onto a white sheet. They are very, very small. Let's see if we can zoom in. I got a little extra light. Here, let me turn this lamp off. You'll see the difference. See? That lights, those lights toss a different color light spectrum than the lights I normally use in my video booth. A lot of people ask me what kind of lights I use. Well, I'll have to show you that someday. So let me tap some of these out. I'm not going to put a lot out. I think I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See if we can just get a few more. I think that's close. So we have, let's get in here. Let's set that down. I'm not going to touch them with my tweezers, but I will use my tweezers to count them. Looks like we have one that came out over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen about 17 give or take so I think that's good 
So we'll close this back up. And then uh, we'll zoom back out. As you can see, the lighting has gone back to normal now. This is kind of my normal white lighting. When you put on a regular bulb like this, that's when it starts casting the yellows. Um, so, uh, pour them in the well. Okay, can you try and place them in the dish? If you spill out, okay. Seal the remaining eggs and save them so you can hatch try ups a few more times. Add your eggs to the center of your prepared dish. Do not move or shake the dish once the eggs are introduced as they may get stuck on the sides of the dish and not hatch. So, let me get my characters out of here. Sorry, Captain. And here we go. I'm just going to fold it up like this and drop them into the center. Okay, so now they are in the water bowl. So I'll just read off to the side here. Seal the remaining eggs. Okay, uh, add your eggs to the center. Do not move or shake the dish. Well, I moved it, sorry, but they're still in the center. And as it make okay, day two to four. So I have to wait now. So day two to four. As water evaporates, eggs may get stuck to the side of the dish. Use your pipette and gently add fresh water to the dish. You can drip the water directly onto the eggs that are clinging to the side of the dish. It is natural for the eggs to float. Eggs begin to hatch approximately 20 hours and continue to hatch for five days. Triops should be fed shortly after they hatch. So I need to watch now for 20 hours. And uh, I think we're ready to go. I think I'm just going to leave them there. Get my light set up to get that temperature just right. And uh, we will check back. Let's get uh, Jordy back here in the captain. Now I'll probably move some things around and clean up so the next time we're here, we're going to do the next step and feed him. So, this is uh, the end of video one. And uh, what we're going to do is just add this to a series. And as they grow and as we start to nurture them, we'll just keep track and see how long they live. So let's go for it. So then this is, uh, check that description then. When you get a playlist, you'll see updated videos. And uh, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.